Hey YouTube, Blackwatch Jazz here, and today we're going to be reviewing the Transformers 30 Siege War for Cybertron Optimus Prime. Now, I'm not going to do like a whole in-depth thing about the box as I normally do, but I'll show you like, so because this thing's way too big, so this is what to expect when you first open up this guy. This thing looks amazing, and it is held in by like these two Velcro straps. So not straps, uh, dots. So, so yeah, that's cool. Now, for the actual figure, which I'll get into right about now. Well, here is the figure out of the packaging, and obviously, this thing is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh my god, I'm so glad I got my hands on this guy, so... Yeah, this thing looks incredible. So, I'm gonna get into the accessories that he comes with. So first off, he comes with a comes with a stand right here. So the assembly is pretty simple. So all you have to do is take this big tab, tab it into the big slot, take a little slot, or take the little tab, tab it into the little slot. It's simple as that. And the articulation has this hinge right here and it has a locking mechanism. And it also has a ratcheted joint right here to pull it back down. You pull this down, and it comes back down. And in order to articulate this little piece, you actually have to take it out and uh, adjust it to wherever you want it to be. So, yeah. He also has, has his backpack, which it looks just like the just like in the show and just like on the figure and even has this which is on the siege figure and that's pretty cool and this tab just goes into right here just like that pretty simple now he also comes with ion blaster axe and his shield which is basically just the axe comes with quite a bit of uh pre-posed hand options which are pretty cool too. With a pair of fist, a pair of axe holding hands, a pair of gun holding hands, a pair of relaxed hands, a pair of action hands, which I will not take off for the rest of the review because of how much of a pain they were to get on. I'll go over some comparisons, so there isn't really much of a comparison I'll do since I don't have that many 3-0 figures, I only have one other, and that is the 3-0B, which obviously I'd expect to be shorter than prime since you know b's a small character so kind of something to expect there so his articulation we have a bit of a ball joint at the head he can look up that far look down that far we got a bit of a tilt right here can do a full 360 and basically everything you'd want for a head to do so yeah his arm can move up right here you can move this up and this up for his arm to be able to get all the way up here we got a bicep swivel we got a double bend at the elbow we got a swivel swivel at the wrist or a ball joint we got we got all this going on yeah so he can do some of this he got He's got a really good ab crunch first that starts here, and then once you push a little further, it pushes in the grill to accommodate the ab crunch. So obviously they did not skip out on any detail here. Yeah, and the backpack is on a hinge right here, so you can adjust that if you want. These hip pieces, or I guess hip pieces, can move up, so he can kick this far up. He can kick this far back because he can kick that far out because uh, this little thingy right here and he can do the full splits a bit of a bicep swivel we got first bend at the knee here which reveals some die cast second bend this panel shifts upward so that is awesome. I absolutely love that. And his feet are made of die cast. And they can move like this. Up and down. A slight tilt. 
And yeah, that is this guy's articulation. Now for his... Yeah, I'm going to go over the accessories and then I'll... Uh, and then I'll get to the LED function, so yeah. So an accessory that's the simplest to get on is his shield. Just goes into this tab right here, which the figure also has that the the original uh, Siege version. So it just goes into his arm like that. Unfortunately, you can't put it in on this side because it's not as carved in, I guess, or sculpted in. So yeah. All right, so before I go over how the other accessory works, I want to go over a bit of the detail that is on this shield. So first we got the Autobot emblem, and we got all this beautiful silver paint, and you probably, oh wait, you kind of can. So on my camera, you can also kind of see like this oily effect on it, and on the black of the shield, it's it's definitely not paintless. It has all this like silver, dingy, dirty effect, and I absolutely love it. Alright, for his next accessory is his Ion Blaster, which you'd be perfectly mistaken for thinking this is metal, but unfortunately it's not, it's just plastic, but it still looks incredible. Now, this goes on his hand, you kind of just gotta wedge it in there, which I really don't like, uh, okay, we got that in, and he holds it decently. Uh, not really, not really. Yeah, I wish he could hold it better. Nothing we can really do about that, though. I'm probably just going to leave that hand on for the rest of the review, so yeah. Alright, so for his next accessory, we got his axe, which all the details on here is basically just the same as the shield, so yeah. Other than the axe pieces which also have a really nice silver as if it's been being used for a while. So, and the handle is just cast in a silver. Nothing really particularly special about it that I can really spot. So, this goes into his hand, kind of the same as the Ion Blaster. You kind of got to wedge it in just like that. So, yeah, he holds it. Uh, not really that good. He doesn't really hold anything that great. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't really like that. So, I like the axe. I just don't like how badly he can't hold it. To be fair, he could barely even fight in the actual show. So, not exactly expecting much from him himself. So, and now for his LED function, actually. You're going to want to remove his head. You need two AG-13s or LR-44s. And then you just flip this little switch, this black switch under this silver piece. Just like that. And it lights up his eyes very well. I absolutely love it. And then when you put it in, the chest lights up and everything. It even leaves little... Uh, headlights up here light up, but you can't really see it that well unless it's in a darkly lit area Which I will show right about now Here is his LED function in a darkly lit area and this looks incredible. Oh my god This guy looks absolutely beautiful with these LED lights you have to admit and here in this uh, scenery you can see the The headlights are showing a lot better. So yeah so one more thing I want to go over with this guy is how to attach him with the stand. So we just have to turn him around, lift this up so you got a bit more clearance, and then remove this butt plate. And basically you just kind of... I know it's wrong. But at the same time, most figures are kind of... They connect the stands just like this, so... Honestly... It does the job pretty well, though, if you ask me. So, yeah, looks incredible. That was my review off of the Transformers 3-0 War for Cybertron Optimus Prime. If you want me to see, or if you want to see me make more 3-0 reviews, leave a comment down below. So, yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.